Is we still filming? Oh shit, we fucking lost it. Oh well, let's try again. Let the games begin. <laughs> it is so bad. Look at it. It's fucking off the fucking crazy planet. Ah, wow. There's an orgasm in my beard. I wasn't invited. Ah, you fucking poofter. This stuff is the uh, unlabeled. Forty-four. The reason it's labeled that is because it's been made in preparation for my forty-fourth birthday. Happy birthday to me! You look like a monkey. <laughs> All right, I'm no, it's okay. I am insane in the mainframe. That's cool. We get that. That's just <laughs> what you get when you're me, so. What are you gonna do, you know? Get drunk, sing a song. I did say I'd sing a song. Oh, man, that stuff is potent. I would say it's up in the eight percent range at least. Not to mention, I did write down the ingredients of what I put in this bastard. But I'm going to sell bottles of this stuff to anybody that wants them. That, I'm just going to give them away, in fact. If you want one, just come get it and I'll give it to you. Cause... <laughs> one of these will set you for life. <sighs> what song will I sing? A Neil Young song? I think a Neil Young song could be on the cards. Have you noticed how my mouth is a bit droopy one side? That's probably because at one time I had an aneurysm. I was on a roof. On top of a roof. You know, one of them things above buildings. I thought you knew that already. I just wanted to clarify. And it was the hottest day in history. Like, 40 five degrees in the shade and this roof was shaped like a fucking saucepan made out of tin and it was two stories up in Lismore where there's no wind and so as you walked up the stairs to get out on this roof the temperature rose by about 10 more degrees so it was 44 in the shade it was about 54 as you walked up because of all these and generators refrigerating their refrigerators and shit <laughs> man it was really fucking hot like hey I'm getting a hair dryer <laughs> um, it was so hot like let me tell you how hot it was it was so hot I was wearing like a sandal type thing on my foot and if when I sort of had to bend over at times, I touched slightly a little bit of skin on the tin. My foot jumped up in the air like three foot and nearly knocked me over. It was that hot. It was fucking boiling. And I was working for a sign writer and I had to measure and find the middle distance of this fucking roof from one end to the next. And the tape measure never went all the way. So of course I had to do calculations as well. So I'm using the old fucking noggin. Not a good thing to do on a hot day without cold beer in your hand. And because I was working, I still haven't been paid by the way. That prick owes me money. <sighs> Let's forget about that. It's in the past. I remember you. Um, 
where was I? Up on that roof. I was measuring out the middle point, because I'm pretty good at maths, you know, I can, like, add two and two together. <laughs> 44. Oh, no. Um, anyway, I had an aneurysm. That's the long and short of it. I was measuring this back and forth, right? And there was a power thingy, like, where the cables came into the building, and it was, you know, kind of like a, a antenna-ish type thing on the edge of the building. So every time I pulled the tape measure across, I had to get under it and keep going. And every time I did that, <laughs> the end of the tape measure flipped up and <laughs> came back in. So I was like, oh, fuck. And so I was told, you know, when you're working on a roof in public and shit, you just take your time, you don't do anything fast, you just cruise. So I just, okay, la -di -da, back to the other end of the roof, put the tape down. And every single time, <laughs> the fucking thing just went back in my hand. And I was like, that really fucking sucks. But I'm going to do this because I'm the sort of bugger when I do something, I do it. So, <laughs> eventually, the uh, heat got to me. And I felt something going up in my head and it just went bloop, 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 pop. And I was like, holy fuck. I'm going to faint. I'm going to die. If I fall on this roof, it is so hot, I will be baked, cooked, and dead before they find me. So I said, just go back downstairs then, you know, like, I'm good at self-preservation. I have that in me because I'm here for a reason. And I couldn't die on that roof that day. But I should have. But I didn't. Because of the reason. For the season. So anyway, I got downstairs. I got into the shade. And I walked into the garden and I threw my guts up a couple of times. I thought I was going to die. I thought, oh, fuck, the hospital's just up the road. They can... They should take me up there and, and I thought, fuck that, I ain't going to no fucking hospital. <laughs> Part of my fucking English, because, you know, fuck's a great word, fucking hell. So I didn't go to the hospital and I sat in the shade for a bit and once, I, after about half an hour, I sort of got, all right, I'm good. I walked into the cool room. I didn't ask for permission. You know, we were working in a supermarket. But fuck that, I just walked straight in and I just sat in there and I grabbed a cold drink of water and I drank that and then I went back outside and spewed that up and then went back in and eventually my body temperature came down enough but yeah, I had that aneurysm and I think that's why I'm a little bit fucked up more than I should be ordinarily but hey, we've all got a few scars here and there <laughs> and anyway I ended up going back to work after about two hours. I just, hey, what the hell? It's only 45 degrees. <laughs> you gotta do better than that. And when I got home, I had a nice cold beer and carried on with life. What else can you do, eh? It's like, no point whinging about it or putting your feet up in a hospital bed because those places will kill you. If ever I look like I'm dying or I'm really sick or I'm flat on the floor and can't breathe, just fucking, you know, do that to me or something, don't send me to hospital. That's all I ask, don't send me to hospital. But the nine minute mark now, so I've obviously ranted and raved for too much, so I'm just going to stop this and sing a song.